I've been kind of in the mood for fall candles or just kind of candles in general. Well, today I'm gonna to be doing a first impressions of the Lee and Scott candles. Let's go. Hey guys, what up? Welcome back. This is I Destiny, and this is the LA Lifestyle on a budget, giving you skincare, thriftwear, and entertainment industry tips and tricks. So if that's what you're into, hit the subscribe button below. So for those of you that obviously don't know, I love candles. I love things that glimmer and give me a nice glow. I got the little glow bobbles down here and candles and whatnot. And usually anytime you guys see me sitting at my normal set, obviously this one's a bit different, but there's always kind of candles in the midst. Now, one of my homegirls from college, her and her boo thing actually just launched their new candle line called Lee and Scott. So I'm super excited to kind of do my first impressions, check them out, see how I like them, because you guys know I always give the true tea. Even if I already like the brand before I know what it is, I still give y'all the true tea. Um, and I mean, one of the reasons why like I'm, I'm reviewing this is because for a lot of you guys that don't know, a lot of kind of mass produced candles that are made have a lot of weird chemicals in them and you don't even realize that you're breathing them in every single time that you light the candle. So things like having candles that are, you know, have soy based wax and things like that is really, really important. You know, even having things like sustainable containers or, you know, having the, the, the wick be something that's maybe like a, a, a cotton base or something natural um, is becoming more and more important for candle companies, especially kind of going into the future. So uh, one of my friends actually pointed this out. I reviewed her on my tea talk series way back, but she kind of came to my house and saw I had all these candles and she was like, girl, like you really need to be careful. Like the kind of candles that you, that you have, you know, you're breathing in whatever chemicals is in them, you know, they're, it's going into the air. And I didn't even think about that, like kind of putting two and two together. I just was like, candles it must be self-care you know it must be good for me but it's that's not the case so when me and my homegirl started talking about her line and she was talking about you know how um you know they hand pour everything they make everything themselves in small batches just you know their process and making a really great you know, high quality candle something that was going to be you know right on target something that was going to be kind of budget friendly i was like i'm so down to check these out so she sent me three different candles to check out so uh, let's go through them one by one and i'll kind of give you guys specs as i go along this candle is $14 which is actually a really really great price for those of you that buy kind of like more high-end candles or like let's say even if you get like um i love to go to home goods and buy like kind of the more expensive candles so this is like right on target and it comes in a really nice glass jar and it smells amazing okay okay let me just okay i'm gonna calm down um so the top notes are ginger allspice and cinnamon middle notes pumpkin brown sugar and nutmeg um base notes clove molasses and vanilla so it's interesting because right when i smell it I get a slight hint of that pumpkin and it kind of like eases me in and then I get some of that vanilla which is nice so I feel like the vanilla and maybe like the clove and the nutmeg kind of help tone it down a little bit so you still get that kind of like pumpkin spice aroma but it's not like a kick in the face of pumpkin and sugar and you know all of that all that craziness that kind of comes with the scent of pumpkin in, in most candles so I do like that about this one it just smells it's pumpkin but it smells fresh like I don't know how that's possible but it's pumpkiny and then it kind of has that that I don't know it's just light so I, I feel like for those of you that have husbands that are like oh gosh like if she buys another freaking candle I swear um, if you buy this he might notice that it smells nice in your home but he's not gonna be like okay what did you just buy like it's not gonna be that that you know strong of a hit so and that one is $14 and apparently five people have it in their cart on Etsy so um, must be a popular one um, the next one I'm gonna try is the oak moss and amber I was really excited about this one um, this one is made with soy wax as well let me click on the specs okay so this one is $14 as well let me click on the details this one's soy um, top notes are sage orange and grapefruit middle notes are lavender and base notes are oak moss amber and tonka bean I don't know what tonka bean is but it sounds interesting okay Wow, interesting. Okay, this one is, okay, okay. So what I like about this one is it's kind of like, it's like sweet and fresh, but then it's like musky and, and earthy, like all at the same time. Like I feel like it's in a nice balance. It's not one of those candles that has like an overly feminine, like perfumey scent, but then at the same time, it's not like too, musky and earthy um, which I mean honestly those scents I always go for I always want something that's like mm, you know but I feel like this is a really nice balance of both without being like too heavy um, 
So I definitely, I, I feel like one of the first things that I get is that sage and lavender, but then it's like, you get some of that amber and it almost kind of smells like, almost kind of smells like fresh trees and flowers. Like, I guess that would be like the best way to say that it's, fresh and feminine and earthy and masculine at the same time, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But it's almost like having like a Christmas tree and then like fresh flowers like all at the same time. That's kind of what it reminds me of, but still like very citrusy and kind of like playful. Oh, but this smells so nice. Like, okay, this is what I would say. This would be like your guest bathroom candle, something that's kind of fresh and light, but, um, you know that you're gonna burn like just on kind of special occasions so that you don't like use it up too quickly. So just when you have like friends or family over for the weekend or during the holidays, I would say like this is the candle that would be great for that. No, that's so interesting. Okay, so, and then the last one, I think this is the one that, the second one that I was also most excited about. I think I, I was having a difficult time choosing between one of these two just because I, I always just love earthy scents with a little bit of freshness. Um, so this is the Cassis and Absinthe. Hey, so let me give you guys specs on this one. This one's the same size, um, six ounces, same kind of glass amber jar. Okay, so this one's $14 as well. Actually, are all the candles? They're probably, okay. I'll, I'll go back and, and check later, but this one's 14 as well. And let me give you guys these specs. Um, again, soy uh, candle. The top notes are saffron and apple. Middle notes are blackcurrant, blackberry, and vanilla and base notes are anise, patchouli, and amber. Okay, so you have some things in there that are kind of sweet and citrusy. Well, not citrusy, because apple's not a citrus, but you know you know what I mean, just kind of like those fresh, kind of like fruit, fruity kind of flavors, or scents. <laughs> you get kind of like that, that fresh um, crispness of the fruit, and then you kind of get like the, the earthiness with like the patchouli and um, the amber and the anise. So let me go ahead and smell. Ooh, okay. Okay, it's interesting because I feel like one thing that I'm getting from their line of candles so far that I don't really see with a lot of other candles is they're doing a really good job of balancing kind of like the masculine with the feminine as far as like the scents. So I feel like with their candles, um, like you're getting a very, very nice pairing of the masculine and feminine. You're getting kind of like these fresh kind of fruity notes or citrus notes kind of paired with like these more like earthy and rich and kind of like musky tones. And they're doing, they're kind of like playing off each other. So that's really, really nice. Wow, okay. So when I smell, I'm definitely getting that hint of the patchouli. And then I'm, I'm getting kind of like that lightness of the apple in there, which is cool. I smell a little bit of that vanilla, but I'm guessing it's kind of just more in there to kind of help meld like the two sides together. So I really like that as well. And this one is $14. Go back to their page and just kind of like breeze over it real quick. So they have a few different types of candles. Apple and maple bourbon, are, uh, autumn harvest. So they do have a, a lot of really good scents for fall. Um, if you guys are looking to pick up a few. Um, sea salt and, uh, or sea salt and orchid, oak moss and amber, which I smelled for you guys. Um, yeah, so they have a, a good amount of candles on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they have eight candles. And then they also have wax melts, which they just added, which I didn't even know that until after I got this. I was like, wait a second, there was wax melts? Um, but they seem to have a good amount. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they have six uh, wax melts, which is cool. I love those, especially for those of you like, you know, maybe you've gotten a little crazy with the candles and maybe just for a holiday, maybe for a specific holiday or whatever, maybe you just wanna do like wax melt. I'm one of those people, I will have candles that I burn like year round and then I have like wax melts that I use for like holidays and stuff like that. Um, so that's really cool and those are $6 a piece, which is nice. I wish that there was like a picture of the back of the wax melts, that would be kind of cool because how many cubes, okay, it maybe looks like there's four to six I can't really tell from the photos, so I definitely would like to see that or know how many are in there. Um, but overall, I'm really impressed with these. Like, I feel like they really did their thing on it. I love the packaging. I would like to see maybe in the future, like down the line, some like metal lids. Um, although these are cute and they do go with the jars and everything, but I, I just, I'm one of those people, I love to reuse containers over and over again. So definitely for sustainability, I love the fact that the base is, is or that the base is glass, so I can kind of put stuff in it. But definitely for, you know, years to come, like I just love collecting like little jars and things that I can use for jewelry or, you know, whatever else. I would say for the price that these are actually like really good candles and they smell freaking amazing. They don't smell cheap. Like, you know, when you get a candle and it's like you open it up and the description looks amazing and then you smell it and you're just kind of like, 
this smells like a Walmart candle. Like, you don't get that at all, like with this. This smells high-end, this smells like they actually did like a really great pairing. Everything balances really well, nothing kind of pops out as being too overwhelming. And also it's like, I don't feel like there's too many notes in there where the candle is just like too convoluted and it's like too much. Um, because every once in a while that does happen where you get a candle where you're like, oh girl, that's that's a lot going on. But yeah, great job, Monica, these are bomb. Um, I'm really excited to see kind of their brand take off. Uh, people are already on Etsy buying their stuff, so I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and link uh, their Etsy page and their Instagram below for you guys to kind of check out when they launch new products and whatnot. But thank you guys so much for watching and like this video if you wanna see more. I'll be posting more as usual. Make sure to do well and be well, and I'll see you later, bye.